Hello friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to install and configure DHCP server on Windows Server 2022. First of all, I'm going to open the server manager. The computer name is master and the domain name is teglob.local. Static IP address is 192.168.60.130. Let me open dashboard and here we need to install the DHCP. So I'm going to click add roles and features. Click next and role based installation. Click next. By default, the master.techlob.local is selected and click next and here you need to select DHCP server add features click on that and next next and next and select restart the destination server automatically if required and click yes and install the installation progress is started. Wait for a few minutes until the installation complete. And now you can see the installation completed. So I'm going to close this. And you can see here we need to um, complete DHCP configurations. So I'm going to click that and click next. And here I'm going to click the commit. For authorization and now you can see the authorization DHCP server is done so I will show you um, let me click on the tools on the server manager and open Active Directory users and computers and when you click the users you will see the DHCP server is added the DHCP administrators and DHCP users and let me go back to the DHCP server installation completed. Click on the close button and minimize. And now in the server manager, select tools again and click on the DHCP. So here we need to do the configurations and uh, the scope. Okay, so expand the FQDN. Uh, IPv4 and right click and new scope and click next uh, the scope name we have to enter so I'm gonna type tech globe underscore DHCP the description I'm gonna leave that box and click next and enter the starting IP address in my case 192.168.60.150 and the end IP address is 192.168.60.200 and the subnet mask is by default selected click next and here I'm going to skip this options and uh, click next Least duration type 160 days. Okay, and configure DHCP options. Select first as I wanted to configure this options. Click next. And the router default gateway IP address of my gateway in the server 192.168.60.2 is the default gateway. I'm gonna click add button and click next server name is master then resolve uh, i got the ip address of the server click add these are the primary dns i'm gonna uh, remove that then and this also i'm gonna remove okay and this is the master ip address click next and the win server name i'm gonna repeat master and resolve and click add 
and next and yes I wanted to activate this scope now I click next and finish so now we have a created the scope uh, let me show you that the click on the address pool you will see here the 60.150 in between we will get 50 address okay and I'm gonna select and the scope options uh, you will see here the default gateway and the DNS server the 130 and the domain name is listed here okay so the basic settings we have done so what I'm going to do let me try to check other PC on the Windows 10 machine I'm gonna open run and type CMT and enter ncpa.cpl and right click on the uh, network port and select properties and click on the TCP IPv4 and select obtain an IP address automatically and the second option also same and click OK and click OK and uh, let's see whether the IP address is auto detect and now I'm going to check whether it's working or not type here IP config and hit enter yes now the DHCP server is we have configured successfully so here you can see the the range of we have a created 150 192.168.60.150 range okay and the default gateway is listed here and you can see the connected specific dns suffix uh, the techlob.local automatically assigned ip address in this device let me go back to the server again and check whether the IP address is detected or not. And refresh. The address list is now you can see the IP address is auto detected and the name of the PC, the client.techlob.local, Windows 10. And here you can see open run command type says dm.cpl hit enter and you can see here the full computer name is client.techlob.local okay so we have uh, successfully uh, completed the DHCP configurations so these are the way how to configure the DHCP server <laughs>